What's up YouTube, how y'all doing today? What are some of the programs that I use to make some of my shirts? How did I come across sublimation? All that and more after the intro. <laughs> So when getting into sublimation, this is something new. I actually uh, went through Cosmos Inc. to grab the sublimation ink for the Epsence Workforce 7720, and I converted the printer. So now those prints that you have seen, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, are because of this. I will be doing a lot more shirts. I'm ready to do my first all over shirt. And here are some of the examples of shirts I've done with vinyl. So basically what I'm doing right now is getting ready to print this Tom and Jerry image and put it on some socks. I'm sending it through my sublimation printer that I converted. So what we have right here is an image of Tom and Jerry that I'm getting ready to sublimate onto some socks using my converted absence printer and a Cosmo ink. And this is what it looks like. It's in reverse, so. Once it goes on socks, it'll look much better. So what I found out with sublimation is that you need a lot of craft paper. So I just went to Home Depot and got a thick roll. I'm probably gonna get a bigger size because this is a lot of tearing at this time. And I'm new to sublimation. So this is a learning journey for all of us. So I'm probably put these sublimation videos all in one category on my um, page. And you guys can go through the journey with me. We can all learn together. But right now I'm heating my heat press, which is only at 51 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm heating it up to 400 degrees and I'm gonna press at 45 seconds. Now, when I did the other video, I had mentioned that I had a V-neck that I had bought from Walmart. Well, the polyester count was only 40% on that shirt. So the colors didn't pop on the first shirt that I did with Kobe Bryant. Some of you guys may have seen it, some of you may not, but you can go back on my Facebook and check it out or peruse through some of my videos on YouTube. What I found is that if you get the crew neck, not the V-neck, but the crew neck, the George brand from Walmart, it's a high polyester count. I'm thinking 65, maybe 70%, and then 30% cotton, and it sublimates beautifully. And it's a cheap price, 388, can't beat that. So as you can see, I already placed some of the socks I'm gonna sublimate inside of the machine. And simply putting this image down onto the sock and taping it with some of my heat tape. Which if you got a tape dispenser, make sure that you use it. Because this right here is a pain using the scissors. One last one. Sorry, I'm not talking as much, but it's a learning process and I want everybody that's following along to be able to see what I'm doing and learn what I'm doing. Some people learn better from watching, others learn better from being talked to. And it's still a learning, um, a learning thing for me as well. I'm no pro, we're all learning together. So I'm gonna make a series, like I said, about this. And you guys can go back and check it out and see if you can learn anything valuable. Oh, um, while you're watching the video, drop a comment, hit the like, subscribe to your boy. I'm putting in man hours. You know what I'm saying? What Reyes say? But Reyes, the gas, but Mike, the man hours that I'm putting into this. So I'm gonna cover it with some more of this craft paper that I previously tore. I'm gonna make sure to cover it all because if you don't, some of the ink will get on the platen, and then when you go to press other things, it'll be a ghosting kind of effect. I'm gonna cover it real well. I'm pressing at 400 degrees 
for 45 seconds. Anything over 45 seconds is too long to turn. It seems to burn the image or like leave this like little chart color around the polyester. So make sure it's just 45 seconds, especially if at 400 degrees and your heat press is from Heat Press Nation. I need to adjust the pressure on that one. So time's counting down. And I like to take this time, as we're counting down before this open, to talk about some of the software that I use. Um, I did have Adobe Illustrator, but I let the subscription run out. And I want to try some of the free programs that's out there, like GIMP, um, what's the other one? Inkscape and Pencil Draw It, I believe that's the name of it. I'm not sure, but I'll put the right um, links down in the below in the description. Good. Dang, I might need too much for that. <clears throat> Well, that one was a little bit on the end, wasn't centered. Not good. But the images came out pretty good. Yeah, they did. Ooh, hot. Wait till I start doing pennants. I don't even want to lay it on my keyboard. It's a little off center, but you guys get it. The detail. That's why sublimation is a step up above vinyl. And I will be incorporating it into my business as much as often. It's a premium price, but for this quality, you can't beat it. You can stretch it, you can pull it out, and it's still in there. That sublimation die at its finest. So with that being said, stay tuned for more videos. If you like this video, once again, hit that like button comment and subscribe to your boy. I'm out.